All right, I wasn't going to vlog uh, the car repair that I'm doing because it was just supposed to be a matter of taking this door panel off um, and replacing the actuator, finding the actuator and taking it off, replacing it. It's supposed to be really quick. Not a big deal. I've taken these panels off plenty of times. Um, I'm doing this one because uh, I'll show you just a second, but of where I was kind of surprised to find the actuator. So let me get the door panel off and then I'll show you. Okay, I've got the door panel off and I mean, I've had these things off plenty of times just to do basic troubleshooting of like the door lock. Sometimes this will get stuck, so I'll take the door panel off to see if I can check the path. You know, here's the rod for it that goes to the actual door handle. And so I'm not usually baffled by what I see under here. Um, but in this case, I was trying to find the actuator, and I figured it'd be here or here or somewhere. But uh, I'm not really going to take this off right now, but it wasn't there. So then I'm thinking, well, maybe it's behind the speaker. Um, it wasn't there either. I, I stuck my hands in here and felt around. Could not find it. I could feel the, uh, the window regulator, the thing that makes the window go up and down. Could not find the actuator. So finally, I'm like, well, here's the cable that controls it. I follow this cable around and it goes back into this part of the door panel. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, well, how am I supposed to get that out? Because right back behind here, let me see if I can show you really quick. You might not be able to see it that well, but right back behind here is the guide for the window. And the guide for the window actually goes right down kind of like in front of the actuator. And again, I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to get that out of there? So I ended up going to YouTube, finding another video, uh, watching that one where the guy says, yep, you got to take, in fact, I don't even see it on this car, which is kind of concerning now because the video showed a different part, but they basically said you got to take uh, a screw out and I think there's supposed to be a bolt here you got to take this bolt out and uh, then remove the window guide it might be behind this but anyway remove the guide for the window and then you can get the actuator out okay seemed basic enough except I only had like an hour of sunlight left so I thought to myself uh, no not today so now we're on Sunday afternoon and I'm attempting to change the actuator again um, hopefully it'll go smoothly. All right, quick update on the actuator. Um, the piece that I was expecting to see right there, uh, it was right there. So, uh, yeah, bolt and nut, got that out. So I was able to move, you probably can't see it, um, but there's a, a window guide, still kind of stuck, but I was able to move that around and Get the old actuator out. So the old actuator's out. The new one, which is right here, that's gonna go in. So and still wish me luck, because uh, this hasn't been the easiest thing to do. But um, you know, learning something new. All right, final update on the actuator. Uh, I can't show you in the car because it's impossible for me to even see. Uh, but okay, the replacement, I'm using the old one to show you. The replacement, uh, well, they have the little, this little piece right here, this little white piece that I'm moving around. There's a metal tab in, in the car. It hooks to the door lock. Okay, so it hooks to the door lock. When you move the door lock, you can see the little metal tab, little metal piece moving around. On the back of that metal piece, there's a bump. That bump has to snap into this hole. So um, I think the, e the easiest way, as I've seen in other, uh, another uh, video that I'll link to below, um, is to make sure it's in this position, which this is the, no, make sure it's in this position. This is the locked position. And when it's in, I think this is the locked position. Anyway, when it's in, there's a certain position when it's in, you can actually see the metal piece. Um, no, that's what makes it harder. 
<laughs> you want it so you can't quite see the little piece. Anyway, you basically, when you're putting this in, you gotta get this piece behind that metal piece so that the little metal, um, I'm gonna call it a dimple, it's probably a little bit bigger than a dimple, so it can get into this. Because if it doesn't get into this, then all it does is that when you go to, when you go to unlock it, this thing moves down, uh, or when you go to lock it, this moves up and it locks, but then it won't unlock because this pushes the thing out of the way. But then when it goes to unlock, it just it just does that and doesn't do anything else. So it's all in there now. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration and it should still work. I think it's all tightened down. Make sure it's tightened down and then I'll do a quick demonstration. All right, the moment of truth. Door still mostly apart because I don't want to put it back together without fully testing this. But here we go. I got the switch hooked up. Here's the switch. There's the door lock. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Hooray, it works. Yeah. All right, the front passenger side door is done. Now I have to do the rear passenger on the driver's side. <laughs> Same thing, fixing the uh, door lock actuator. This one, this one's not as bad, but it still doesn't always open. Um, I'm expecting to find it right about here when I get the door panel off. Um, that's where it's supposed to be, so let's hope so. All right, and there it is. That's about where I expected it to be million times easier to replace these ones. You just take out these two screws. Um, obviously you gotta unhook that, but then you're done. All right, in, out, and done. Here's the old one, here's a new one. This probably took less than five minutes, and I even had to, that included taking out the packaging. I haven't tested it yet, but uh, that's the next step. All right, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's right there through the uh, tinted window. Can't test it from the door itself because that is the back seat, but uh, here you go, lock and unlock. It's gonna move around because the uh, door panel isn't on. Uh, oops, lock, unlock. Yep, works. All right, that is enough vehicle maintenance for the day, uh, for the weekend. Uh, I do have one more part I need to replace on this car and that's the uh, power window regulator. I'll do that next weekend. Um, don't know if I'll vlog it or not. Uh, I expect it to be actually more difficult than the uh, power, power door uh, actuator was. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and it won't, won't be as difficult. But uh, I'm tired, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go clean up and uh, yeah, we're done with the car for the weekend.